Okay, friends, so on my Tundra here, um, the, the snug top was leaking, and so I'm going to show you like where it was. It's multiple places, but one of the reasons, one is in the back here. So it was um, above the gas cans there, right under the ledge, and I was like, why is it leaking there? It wasn't coming from the window. It's down here, um, the bottom part here. So it also leaking from the windows as well. So uh, that's another fix right there, but um, it was it's leaking through the windows, and I think it was the sill was filling up because of water from coming from the side. Um, so basically, the water's coming in here, right here, and hitting in there and rolling down into there to get in the track. And since this is tilted, since this um, lays not flat like this, but it's tilted in, the water runs off the. Um, this lip that catches the water this in here and it runs on the inside so one thing there's supposed to be water holes in the tracks down here but i didn't really see any unless that oh you know what if i can see it looks like there's one there that little hole there but i drilled on the other side i drilled an additional hole like on the track here so the water could come out so there looks like there's you know what that's not on my side it looks like there's another one there so someone actually the other one doesn't have any holes and that's maybe why it's leaking because it didn't have a hole like that so I went ahead and drilled some holes and looks like someone did that as well already on this side maybe that's already supposed to be there so there's four holes here on already and my other side didn't have any so if your window is leaking it might be because you don't have any holes in your track there anyways back to uh, this part so I looked and I was like, why is it leaking? It's basically coming up underneath uh, from the front there. So um, if you look right here, get my light here, but this, um, when they put this on, this part's supposed to come down over the front here. And as you can see, it was, uh, it was tucked down up underneath. So when the water was, um, hitting on that ledge there, it was just uh, pooling up and then running under there. So this, um, this goes, oh, this flange here is supposed to go on the outside of the bed all the way around. So when the water hits that, it just runs down off of that. So maybe when they put the bed liner in or something, that's why. And so I had to jack up my uh, roof here. So, um, I didn't want to take the whole thing off, but basically you have, um, most bright, you have uh, six bolts. Here's one, uh, there's another there, and there's another down there. And then same on the other side, you're gonna have three on each side. And you don't wanna make them too tight. I just went ahead and removed, took them out all the way. And then I uh, used a couple buckets here on a board and a bucket on a board and then my jack and I displaced the weight um, with another board here at the top and it just kind of hand screwed that up a little bit just to give me a little bit of room here so to work with so I can, I might actually lower it a little bit but if you can see, it's hard to see back in there but that whole area, that thing should be down in front of your um, cab. So if, you're, if your top is leaking from that side, that's probably why they didn't put the, uh, that weather stripping going out, out to the outside of your truck there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of push that out and then lower uh, my my uh, bed or the camper shell back on there. So I might have to lower it a little bit and just kind of peel that out as I go. We'll see how it works. But uh, um, maybe the, hopefully this helps somebody out there. Um, I, I, I was reading some Tundra forums and people with, were having experiencing leaks as well in their campers and I was told you just, leaks are just something you have to deal with with a camper and that's not really acceptable to me. So um, this is will definitely fix one of the leak problems I have and I think drilling the holes in the bottom of the window will also give me uh, hopefully a solution for the other one. So I'll uh, just thought I'd share that with you guys. If your camper shell is leaking from the front part there, if it's not your window, which I'm hoping it's not the window, um, then it's probably uh, this seal right here. So thanks for watching my friends and we'll see you next time. 
All right, friends, so just showing you here now as best I can, which isn't that good apparently. But you can see how now the weather stripping is going on the outside here. Come on, focus. So it's on the outside of the bed there, and that goes all the way. Yeah, come on, I'm trying to show you there. All the way down the length of it across, it's that weather stripping piece is going over the uh, the uh, the truck bed right here. So, oh, there's a good angle. So you can see that weather stripping now is overlapping instead of before it was tucked under. So I uh, just lowered a little bit. So there was about oh half an inch gap maybe, and then I put my finger. Um, up under this area right here and I was able to push that out and so it, it would it pushed out and then overlap there so that should cure the water issue um, from this side I see maybe a little place where the water can get in from the corner here possibly right there um, if, if it continues to get in there I'll do something about it but this I think was the major issue was this uh, weather stripping being tucked under instead of tucked over the lip there. So, all right, my friends. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you later.